Hi, I'm Michael with Customer Support here at click the mail and today I'm going to show you how to set up a template in FreedomSoft which you can connect to your email to mail account at click the mail Now the first thing we'll have to do is be logged into our FreedomSoft and which see I already am and we will go to settings and then we're going to go to templates off here to the side and we're going to select email templates and here's some system templates that are come prepackaged for you but we're going to create our own here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it click the mail and then we're going to populate it with this code now, i'll show you this code at the end of the video because uh, it may not be very clear to you right now uh, this code is what um is behind the magic of this whole process. Uh, it brings the owner's information that's populated in your uh, property record in FreedomSoft into the subject line of your email, which is separated by semicolons. And this is required by click to mail and the email to mail process, as this is the um, addressee of the piece of mail that actually gets mo uh, mailed through the US Postal Service. Now, it won't let us save until we actually put something here. So we'll just put test here. We'll save this. All right. Now we'll go to our properties. And we have one property here, Jane Doe. And we want to say we want to send her a contract on her property. We can go to communications under property details. We can go to emails, new email. And about halfway down on the right here, you'll see a little envelope. Now that's the insert template button. We select our template that we created. You see that it pre-populates the code that we had there. And for the two line, I'm going to enter my email to mail mailbox address. This is unique to email to mail, click to mail. This is what uh, kind of connects uh, everything together, knows which account to go to, knows which documents to use, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, next, we'll add our uh, attachment. And this is the actual document that will be mailed. So I'll click that, add that. And obviously you can put something in the body of your email if you'd like, but that will not affect the overall process here. None of that is really taken into account. So we'll hit send email. And then we'll jump over to, uh, this is one I did earlier. Let me get that out of the way. So we'll jump over to our click the mail account and you will see that it comes in just like this. Now, yours will not look this way. You will not have a pending proof of accept acceptance unless you um, check the flag that says stop processing. You want to look at your proofs before you send them out, which would kind of defeat the, pro uh, the purpose of the whole uh, integration uh, step here. So I have mine set up so that I can show you kind of what's happening and I don't really want to mail this. Otherwise, when you hit send mail, it would automatically send it here and it would say awaiting production. Okay. Um, anyway, since we're here, I'm going to show you what the proof looks like, and show you how things are pulled in here. So this is, this is the PDF that I attached, just a simple little line, nothing major. And you'll see this has my information here for the uh, return address and this is the property owner address that we clicked on Jane Doe so that's where this piece will actually get uh, folded and inserted and mailed to all right now I'd like to show you the code here uh, this has to be um, formatted exactly like this in your template and that's all that's required if you have any questions or need any assistance in setting this up, I'd be happy to help you. Please give us a call. I look forward to talking to you.